good morning guys welcome to our channel so today in this video we'll be talking about dbs back interview question that was shared by one of our subscriber friend who has recently got an opportunity to have an interview with dbs so in this video we'll be talking about java interview questions multi threading interview questions spring boot and spring interview question and even on few questions on microservices and data structures so this would video would be helpful for those people who are having an interview with dbs bank or looking out for Uh, the videos or questions that are being asked at DBS Bank. So let us see the mail first. So this was the mail from our subscriber friend. Interview with DBS Bank. Hi, Duncan Engineer. Your videos are hel really helpful in preparing for the interview, and I want to share my interview experience with DBS Bank, where I have applied for Java developer role for 4.5 years experience. I was luckily I was selected, and they have offered me 18 lakhs per annum. I was having offer of 16.5 lakhs from other companies. Below are the tech questions I have faced. Manager round was very easy. So basically, so here we can few things to concentrate. That is, year of experience was 4.5, and this is for a Java developer. So basically, the questions would be asked for Java developer, and the offer salary was 16.5 lakhs per annum. So let us get into the questions. So, if you want to share your questions, you can reach us at the email ID that is there in the description. So, coming to the first section of question, I have segregated into different sections of question. So, the first three questions are explain about my current project roles and responsibilities. So, this is one of the mandatory questions. And while you are explaining your project architecture, and if you are saying yourself as an experienced candidate, so please be prepared. Or let go prepared on this type on. Project architecture because if you fail to explain your project architecture in a proper way, that will definitely uh, reduce your chances of selection. Like 90%, you will get rejected on this question itself. Because if you are saying you are an experienced candidate and if you are not able to answer, uh, like explain your project architecture in a pro proper way, so that will definitely give a negative feedback. Then there was a question of explain about array list, hash map, and concurrent hash map internal working. Yeah, this is again like one mandatory in interview question. We can say for experienced candidate, like basically hash map and concurrent hash map internal working. But here we can add array list as well. The next question is what is blocking queue? Write code to implement a blocking queue. So basically, blocking queue is an interface that support operation that wait for queue to become non-empty when retrieving and removing an element. And wait for space to become available in queue when adding an element, and this will not accept null. It will throw null pointer exception, and these are thread safe. And interestingly, our friend has shared the reason for selection as well. Uh, I'll discuss that in the end. So coming to the next section of questions, here these are from completely from multi-threading. So these are the questions that were asked as part of multi-threading. Uh, you have thread T1, T2, and T3. How will you ensure that thread T2 run after T1 and thread T3 run after T2? It uh, basically they are saying T1 should run first, T2 second, T3 third. So we can use join method here and we can do that. Or there are different ways as well. We will need the notify and wait. We can do that. The second question is you need to implement a high performance cache. Which allows multiple readers, but the single writer to keep the integrity. How will you implement it? So, so this is a tricky question here. So basically, there should be multiple readers, but single writer. Uh, we can go with concurrent hash map here. Or oh, if you are anything in your mind, you can comment it in the comment section. Right now, con concurrent hash map is striking my mind. So I would go with that. What is race condition? How will you find? And solve the race condition. So basically, when two threads are running for to gain the access, or uh, that scenario is known as race condition, and we have to find it and solve it. So basically, ah, uh, like to solve the race condition, we can use synchronized blocks and methods. Dear friends, well, today I have some exciting news for you. Relevel has announced all their Tests have been made free of cost. In order to give candidates access to thousand test jobs across the top companies, your search for finding the right job ends now with Relevel. Now you can register the Relevel test in just four steps. 
sign up on relevant.com select the test of your choice like whatever you want to print in back end or business development book a slot when you want to give the relevant test slots are limited so i suggest you to book it first click the book test and confirm your slots for the test all rounds of the test will be completed in a single day and you'll get your scores within a week once you qualify the relevant test based on the score you will get a create your re amazing relevant profile which will then be shared by companies for further process now the only thing you have to do is sit back and relax companies will reach out to you based on your profile the better your score the more companies will reach out to you so you, what are you waiting for register for the relevant test today and if you are someone who haven't heard about relevant here are a few benefits of participating in relevant test over 550 plus companies including top startups and unicorns like Red upgrade razor pay urban company and many more are hiring through level thousand plus job position of course the business development front end development and back end development with guaranteed minimum package of 4 lakhs per annum for non tech roles and 6 lakh per annum for tech roles people are getting packages up to 15 lakhs per annum as well completely online and can be taken from comfort of your home the best part is that you can take this test for free finish your test in a single day of, of your choice and get your relevant scores within a week once you clear the test within a with a qualifying which is 700 out of 1000 marks you will be able to create an amazing candidate profile then it will be showcase your skills and stand out of the crowd and something that stand out of the crowd is always noticed the candidates can retake the test for after 30 days if they don't meet the qualifying criteria also the candidates will be rewarded with exciting goodies like macbook iphone and many more for the highest rank holders in the relevant with relevant you are in a unique position to invite interest from companies instead of hunting for the opportunities on your own once you have a great score you can sit back and relax the companies will reach out to you still unsure about taking the test find the people like who are you currently seeing on your screen who have already got into the dream jobs you can also follow the relevant twitter page to know more about the achievers coming back to the questions so the next questions are how do you handle an unhandled unhandled exception in your thread into thread this is a tricky how do you handle an unhandled exception in a thread so this depend again like upon your architecture like in multi-threading environment how do you want to handle the exceptions what do you mean by inter-thread communication and how it is done so basically how threads communicate internally so that is done through notify wait methods notify all can you explain a real time example where you have used abstraction in your application so what i always feel is whenever uh, you you prepare for oops concept always prepare oops concept uh, with uh, taking the real time examples from your applications like where exactly you have used it, 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 though here the question is about abstraction or uh, it can be on encapsulation inheritance or polymorphism on anything but uh, you always prepare with the real time example that would definitely add an advantage then the question is from java 8 what is option how it can be used so basically optional class got introduced in java 8 so to handle null pointers we can like optional is very handy there in handling the null pointers what is the default method and when do we use it so this is a tricky question again or default came in in functional interfaces so basically interfaces now sorry now we can have in interface a default and static methods the issue that is it resolves it so we can have we can add a new method like default method and it won't uh, like in the subclasses we can directly use reuse the method without disturbing all the implementations of the class of that interface sorry difference between intermediate and terminal operations so this is again from java it feature what is intermediate and terminal operations how to find duplicate elements in a given integers list in java using scheme function so we have already i think we have already shared this on our channel how to find duplicate elements in a given integers list in java given a string find the first repeated character in it using stream function yeah okay different scopes of spring bean and which scenario you will use what so basically it depends upon uh, the requirement so there are different scopes singleton prototype request session and one is global so five and but that uh, usage that de definitely depends upon the requirement we cannot say in this scenario we will use what if you want one per container i'll go with singleton if you want for every request then go with request type if you want for session one 
build the logo with session so next question is how have you configured db in spring boot in your current application so these are few important i say like in every interview you will face this type of question like configuration part how you have faced db configuration so always better to prepare all how you have doing transaction management in your application so these are few mandatory questions that we will always face coming to the next section of question and if you are haven't subscribed us please do subscribe in spring boot how can i load profile specific properties file so there so there is a command of using the command we can load while running the when bootstrapping the application itself queries to fetch highest and nth highest salary from employee table yeah super so we have to write query uh, this, this is one of the mandatory i feel when like out of 100 interviews in 95 interviews we will see this query like for find the highest and second highest or third highest like that ask to write queries to demonstrate inner join and outer join so this were the questions from db related difference between microservices and monolithic applications so as i have and worked on microservices didn't ask for the so okay you have to explain basically the differences between monolithic and uh, microservices what advantages we are getting with microservices what uh, disadvantages we are getting with microservices all the things needs to be explained it is not just the advantages that we expect even the disadvantages we need to expect it's really, really costly to maintain microservices what type of review comments i get in code review okay this is one Well, depends on person to person. Ask me to explain about my recent, my current ticket and what I have done to accomplish the given task. So these are specific to a person. There are few general questions on agile. So if you are following agile, like mostly in 90% of the projects in IT now are following agile. So expect few general questions. Like there is nothing in agile. So, so general questions. Like what all the different harmonies? What is the team size? Or what is the velocity of your team? How many days does come last? So these kind of questions can be expected. So now I reveal the reason for selection. So reason for selection was this mainly coding and multi-threading help me in tracking the interview. So so you always if you are a developer, so nine like most of your selection depends upon your coding skill. here if you even in this interview it played a crucial role the coding and multi threading so if you are all preparing for dbs bank so please brush up your coding and multi threading interview let me sorry multi threading interview question that will definitely help you in cracking the interview that's it in this video so this is the complete mail that we have received you can wait for a moment and go through it completely So if you haven't subscribed, yet, please do subscribe, like, share, and provide the feedback in the comment section. And we request to please do like that will definitely motivate the subscribers as well to share more videos. And if you are on the channel for the first time, if you are wondering like who are we and what we do, so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who are doing interviews and share our real time interview experiences through these videos. Apart from that, we also share our subscriber friends interview experiences who. mail us if you want to contribute you can reach us at the email id that is there in the description and if you are wondering what are the company name that are getting printed so this we have already shared you can visit our channel and get advantage of this videos so we are basically sharing more interview questions related to java and java related technologies so that's it in this video and thank you for watching and have a great day and if you are preparing for your interviews all the best for that i hope you get your dream job and one more thing to notify all the interview questions will be there in the description as well